Hi, my name is Mylon Lefevre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and almost died from a drug overdose. Something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. Now, years later, my wife, Christy, and I travel the globe proclaiming God's goodness. So come on and join me on the road to freedom. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, should I really sing that. I can't believe it. You never I really sang. Did. I just saw the sun though and I was inspired. I know, man. <laughs> Hollywood. The there we go. It wasn't that much better when he sings. Nah, nah, <laughs> so we got Hollywood in the background. We're in the hills of Hollywood. The Hollywood Hills is what they call it. And that's where this home is. Beautiful home on a gorgeous day. And you know, this is so much fun for us. Thank you, Team Mylan, for sending us to these beautiful places. Right. You know, the reason why we film oh, in Jesus. beauty is because Romans says that God's creation testifies of His eternal power. So when you see how beautiful His creation is, it's mm. a testimony to our God that He has immeasurable, unlimited, Power. Unlimited. It's Come unlimited on. is what Ephesians says, and yeah. it's immeasurable, and it works for our behalf for those who believe. Hallelujah. So when you look at these hills, you can know that God's power, when you believe, is working on your behalf right now. Hallelujah. Yeah. And also, we want you to know that, Team Mylan, we're so thankful for you today. We're praying for you. We're praying faith-filled prayers every day. And we want you to know that we're standing with you for the victory, for your family, for your health, for your finances. Right. We want you to walk in God's That's highest right. and best That's in every right. realm of your life. And we have joined our faith with yours for you to walk in the fullness of your call before Jesus comes. Yeah. And so today, in order for you to walk in the fullness of your call, what we're talking about is how to live free from care. Wow, in the time we're living in, mm. it is obvious there is care all around us. Oh, man. The cares of this world, it's the most in intense it's ever been. Yeah. Um, since I know at least in my generation, how about in yours? Well, man, I mean, in ours, it, it, it's amazing. Yeah. It's gotten more and more complicated. Life has gotten more intense. Right. Everything, when I was in high school, you know what, being bad in class was chewing gum. <laughs> you know, they didn't have any Uzis get right. taken to school. I mean, right. uh -huh. it's a whole nother world mm -hmm. we live in. Yeah. People, nobody got shot in school in those days, you know, goodness gracious. People didn't divorce. Mm -hmm. Our parents didn't divorce. Now 54%, I mean, even they didn't like each other, they still didn't divorce. That was just something you didn't do. It was admitting confusion, admitting defeat. I mean, boy, this generation looking for excuses. Yeah, that's right. I mean, everybody, it's just a everybody's different world. fault but us, you right. know. It's a different world, but it's what Jesus said, perilous times will come. That's yeah. what we're in, perilous They're hard times. hard to bear. But we're anointed, right? We're yeah. anointed for such a time We as can this. do this. So we can God. live free from care. And the way we do that is through the Word. And that's why we do these shows. Jesus said in John 8, 31 and 32, if you will continue in my Word, then you truly are my disciples and you will know the truth That's right. and the truth, not there is no such thing. I got to say it again. We've been talking about these yeah. days that we're living in. There's no such thing as my truth, their truth, your truth. There is only one truth yes, whatever God and it says. is the word of God. Yeah. Amen. It is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth and I'm the light. And when you learn the truth of God's word, it will make you free and free indeed. And if you don't accept the truth, oh, that's you're it. not, you're willing to be God. Yeah. You're willing to say, no, you can't be my God. I'm God and I make up my own truth. Yeah. Boy, that's a dangerous thing people 
Please pray about that before you make that choice. Mm -hmm. So the truth that we want you to receive today is how to be free from care. Yeah. And that's when I didn't even realize that this is perfect. That's why I'm wearing this sweatshirt. <laughs> this is perfect. Good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you can live uh, live I, a good the, life, right? The Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. Knows. I, I good, believe in good Jesus. Vibra now sing it. See, we got another song opportunity here. Good, 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 good vibration. See, that's so good. I love it. So good things. God is a good God and he has good things in store for you and you can live a good life because we serve a good God. That's right. So again, what we were talking about in 2 Timothy 3, 1, the Amplified says, this is scriptural basis for what we've been sharing, but understand this, that in the last days will come perilous times of great stress and trouble that are hard to deal with and hard to bear. Now again, you know, we are living in perilous times. There's pressure on every side. In fact, the word says men's hearts will fail them yeah. for fear. That's true. So as you know, mental health issues are at an all time high. Well, the root of that is fear, the spirit of fear. And God has not given us the spirit of fear, but oh of power goodness. and love and a sound mind. Jesus said, what I've given you is peace. John 14, 27, he said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, mm. not as the world gives Come do on. I give. So let not your heart be troubled. Neither. Oh, thank you, Lord. Neither let it be afraid. Hmm. That's how you can live a good quality of life, even in your mental health, is this verse right here. Mm. To receive the peace of God and do not let your heart be troubled. That's a choice we make. That means if our heart is troubled, it's because we have let it. Yeah. We have allowed it. Yeah. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Don't pray for God to fix it. God said you fix it. Mm -hmm. I'll help you, but you fix it by refusing to allow this to happen. Yeah, I mean. It, it takes guts. Boy, that's not a word you hear in church much, but it mm -hmm. takes guts. Mm -hmm. It takes you making up your mind, I'm going to do this for you, God, because I love you, Lord. Yeah, that's good. Mark mind. 4, 18 and 19, mm -hmm. it says, Now these are the ones sown among the thorns. They're the ones who hear the word and the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, the desires for other things enter in and choke the word and mm. becomes unfruitful. Right. The word was sown into their hearts. It would have produced healing. It would have produced uh, life, peace, joy, all everything they needed. Mm -hmm. But because they let the cares of the world in, yeah. because these these things it says in Amplified, they snuck in, they seem in subtly and slowly, yeah. and they crept in, and they the deceitfulness of riches, the desires for things, trying to make more money instead of more. Mm. Find out more about Jesus. Yeah, that's good. Choke the word. It chokes it out. If we don't understand this, then the word won't do you any good. You'll end up with religion. You'll have a bunch of scriptures that memorized that you never did. Mm. And they therefore don't do you any good. You'll wonder why when I get sick, why my prayers don't get answered. Mm. Because we left the door, me, I'm saying we, me and you, we sinned and we came short of the glory of God. And we didn't do things the way he told us to do them. And we left the door open. And sometimes the enemy attacks anyway because that's what he does. He's the enemy. Many are fixing to the righteous. You can be righteous and still become afflicted because the enemy is trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. But if you'll do what the Word said, God's Word is seed. Yeah. When planted in mm -hmm. the good soil of our heart by that's faith, it. it will produce a harvest of whatever you need. Healing, deliverance, prosperity. Yes. Please get this. All the seed knows how to do is produce fruit. All it knows how to do. Right. You plant it in your heart. It will produce it will. righteousness yeah. in your life. Yes. Peace, joy, faith, That's good. grace, mercy, all the things that God wants. The example is the seed of by his stripes you were healed. We were healed if we believe it. Mm -hmm. It will produce healing, just as if we planted apple seeds in the ground to produce an apple tree. This isn't rocket science, y'all. If you need prosperity, you sow the seed of God's word. You the Lord the is seed. my shepherd, yeah. and I shall not lack. Yeah, yeah. Say it. The shepherd means he leads the sheep. Yeah, yeah. If you're God's sheep and you belong to Jesus, then say it. He's my shepherd. He I don't lack shepherd. anymore. I remember the day that I said it mm -hmm. and everything changed. Yeah, that's good. We made a lot of money and it was never enough. 
Yeah. That's called lack. Mm -hmm. No matter how much you make, it's never enough. Man, you can make a million dollars, but if you need a million and ten, you're ten dollars short. Yeah. And yeah. you're in lack. Yeah. Refuse to be anxious. You will not lack again if you refuse to be anxious about the thing and get to doing what God told you to do. Offer up your request for Thanksgiving. The seed is growing. Just like natural seed, it doesn't produce overnight. It's the same with the seed of God's Word. That's right. But if we allow the cares of this world, the political, economic, and family, <laughs> oh boy, that drama is forever. <laughs> Choosing to be anxious about the problems will cause the Word to become unfruitful. We stop our own breakthrough with worry and fear. Man, that stop the is presses. the enemy's oh my plan for yeah. our lives to stop us from the breakthrough yeah. we need. My goodness, we cannot overemphasize this. I mean, we stop our own breakthrough with worry and care and fear. It causes the word to become unfruitful. Yeah, yeah. What we desperately need the word to produce, we stop when we uh, choose to be anxious. Yeah and worry and to carry the care. You know, God said, cast all your care on me, for I care for you, right? And so, wow, this is so good. I'm repenting already. How about you? <laughs> Second Corinthians 2 11. Now we need to be aware of these devices. We're talking about living free from care. Second Corinthians 2 11 says, lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So what we've just shared with you is worry and care is a device. It's a device of the devil. And you need to be alert to it. You need to be aware of it, even if it's subtle. You know, I find yeah. myself, there have been times where I know that we've got a heavy calendar coming up, a heavy travel schedule. And I'll notice, I'll notice something real subtle like dread, dreading what that's gonna take to travel that much to do that many services, to film that many TV shows, that's care, that's worry. And I have to be alert to that attack of the evil one to stop the word from being fruitful, what God's sending me to accomplish for the kingdom. I can stop my own progress by dreading. Get in the word before you make your list of things to do today. <laughs> because yeah. the list will, yeah. will overwhelm you That's good. at times. Mm -hmm. It looks like this list, uh, I work 18 hours and I do the things on the list and the list is longer when I go to bed than when I wake right, up. Right, right. But mm -hmm. there's no end to it. Mm -hmm. You can get up early and you can stay up later, but there's no end to it. The list was made for tomorrow. If Jesus comes tomorrow, 18 things on that list ain't gonna happen anyway. Mm -hmm. So why not live for today, today like God said to do? Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. And you know, every time after you hear the word, uh, the enemy sets up situations yep. to try to steal what was sown in your heart. That's true. You know, even what we're teaching you today, Mark 4, 15 says, so be aware of his devices. Don't let him steal the word. Mark 4, 15 says, these are the ones sown by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. Now we learned this next part from Brother Copeland. He's our father in faith. And what he taught us is Satan only has five devices that he tries to stop the word bearing fruit in your life. So the good news is, is you pass the test on these five devices and you win. The word reaps yeah. 30, 60, Come and 100 on. fold in Come your on. life. That's the reward. Yeah, yeah. So here's the five devices that Satan uses. Number one, offense. Number two, persecution and trouble for the word's sake. This is all laid out in Mark 4. Number three, the cares of this world. That's what we're talking to you about today is a device of the enemy to stop the word from bearing fruit. Yeah. Number four, deceitfulness of riches. Oh, come on. That means you think money will solve your problem instead of more of Jesus. Matthew 6, says, seek first my kingdom and my righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. That's why you don't need to go after the riches. God said, you seek me, I'll add the riches. I'll add the abundance, I'll add the increase. Number five is the lust, same principle, the lust of other things. You think things are gonna make you happy. Jesus said, you make me your first love, I'll add the things, amen. Plus the peace that goes with it. Right. And the peace, baby. I mean, I made some money in my time. I've walked away oh, from you some could preach. contracts Miley can that preach worth on millions this. of dollars. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it, 
it, Jesus right. is, you can't serve two masters. Yeah. It's me or money. It's me or money. He didn't even mention yeah. the devil. Mm -hmm. He said, it's me or money. Either your desire to get more money, thinking that will help. Yeah. Or your desire to get more of me, knowing that I will help. And one of those two things is going to master your life. You're going to spend the rest of your life trying to get more money or more of Jesus. One or the other. And yeah. you've got to decide today, one of those things will solve all this. If you make Jesus Lord, you won't get offended at people. Yeah. You won't get persecuted. Mm -hmm. You get persecuted and there's trouble for the word's sake. You, that will happen. That's guaranteed. Yeah. Cares of this world, they will try to get you, but they won't. Deceiveness of riches, you won't care about money. Money is a thing. It's not, money is not something that's going to make my life It's the love of money. Better. That's where the it's error the love is. Of the money. love of money yeah. is the Trust root of all evil, yeah. right? But you need money to do what you're called to do, to support your family, yeah. to support widows and orphans, right? Those are the good things God wants us to do. We are blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. Amen. That's yeah. the purpose for the that's increase. It. And God wants you to be abundantly blessed. Abundance. That yeah. means too much. He wants that's you to it. have more than enough that's so that right. all of your needs are met, your family's needs are met, and now you can give to every good work. Amen. That's God's best for yes. you. Yes, Second amen. Corinthians eleven twenty eight says, now this is Paul talking. Now he's talking about he had the cares of life the cares for the church um, tried to come on him also. And this is what he's saying in 2 Corinthians eleven twenty eight. Besides the other things, what comes upon me daily is my deep concern for all the churches. So Paul dealt with care too, but we know that he didn't let it in. That's why Paul could say, be anxious for nothing. When he's talking about that in Philippians, be anxious for nothing but in everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. And the mm. peace of God, which passes understanding, will be a guard to your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So we know that Paul did not give in to the care, but he dealt with it too. So we don't have to think. That's right. This is important. I learned this from our father in faith too. You don't have to think anything you don't want to think. You don't have to think on those worry, fear-filled thoughts. Your mind is your mind, That's right? right. You don't have to say anything you don't want to say. Your mouth is your mouth, right? You can cast You can down fill it with worry and fear. That's right. Or you can fill it with praise and thanksgiving. That's right. We don't have to feel anything we don't want to feel. When those when those emotions, when those wrong emotions, we mentioned mental health earlier. When those wrong emotions try to get you to be worried and scared and afraid, what I encourage you to do is speak the word of God out of your mouth. Every time the devil tempted Jesus, he said, it is written. If you'll do the same, you'll be resisting the devil and he will flee. Amen. So please understand that worry, this is important to the Lord. Worry is not a little thing. It is a big thing to God. And the reason why we're emphasizing this today is I've dealt with this so much in my life, carrying the care, trying to fix it. Do I have any fixers out there? always trying to fix it, right? So, but God said, cast your care to me. And if you'll pass the test, here's what's so important, is the word will reap a great reward in your life. That's Amen, right. that's what Jesus wants for you. Well, 1 Peter 2, 9 says, but you are a chosen generation, That's right. a royal priesthood, yes. a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of Hallelujah. darkness into his marvelous light. You know, one version says he did this so that we would broadcast his glorious wonders throughout the world. I love that because that's why we do On the Road to Freedom is so that we can broadcast His love around the world. And you can be a part of helping us share the love of God by joining Team Milan. You just go to Milan.org and click on Team Milan today. And you pray about what God wants you to do. He'll talk to you. He'll show you exactly. Yes. We need your prayers. We need your financial support. We will change the world with God's help and with your help, one person at a time.
Mark 4 and 20 says, And the seed that fell on good soil yes. represents those who hear and accept God's word. Amen. And it produces a harvest of 30, 60, and even 100 times as much as was planted. Mm -hmm. Good soil. They made it through the offense. Yeah. They made it through the, through the persecution. They forgave. Mm -hmm. They cares of this world. They refused to have them. They stayed in, in, in God's way and doing things His way. Yeah. They deceived them as their riches. They didn't, they didn't go after things. They didn't go in debt because they lusted, because they couldn't wait to, to mm -hmm. get. They throw that plastic down. Every time you go in debt, you're slaves to a lender. Yeah, that's you, good. Enough. The world can tell you mm -hmm. what to do. Un people who aren't even Christian can tell you. For 20%, are you kidding me? The interest rate's going up lately. I mean, for some on a credit card, yeah. they're going to tell me, no, the Holy Ghost is going to tell me what Amen. to do. Amen. I'm going to pay, or I ain't going to, if I can't save it up and pay for it, I ain't going to buy it. Mm -hmm. God don't want me to have it. If he does, he'll send the money. If yeah. he doesn't, no problem. That's I'll weigh good. on him because he's my life, not things. Mm -hmm. Planting the incorruptible seed of God's word all these years, a confession for healing not wa were not wasted. No, they weren't. Those honey. seeds have That's been growing right. and growing and springing up in the miracle that I need today. Yeah. And watch this. Yeah, that's this so is good. going to happen. Amen. Stay in love and faith to be a good ground. The seed is producing, but it takes time. We keep watering the seed with praise and thanksgiving, and God is working. And you know, Example. I've heard you preach this seed, time, and harvest. Yep. That's the principle. That's how it works with it the Word of time. God. It takes time. You the plant seed, the seed. Right. It doesn't come up the day you plant it. Mm -hmm. You have to water it. You have to keep the weeds off of it. You have to, you have to make sure that you really believe that. Yeah, that that's right. That you're not right. just confessing things. We don't stick our head in the sand. We just don't talk about it. We don't talk about what the devil put into our lives. We talk about what God said, and we bring him glory and honor. When you see somebody's life bearing fruit, you can pay attention yeah. to why they made it that way. Amen. Listen to those God has placed in your life today to help you pass the test. Today, that's me and Christy. Mm -hmm. Right now, God sent me and Christy that's to talk enough. to you about yeah. passing the test that's in front of your life. Yeah. In front of your life, your pastor, mm -hmm. your mentor, your elder, your children, your parents. Mm -hmm. um, when we minister to you, we are mindful to deliver the truth to you concerning the enemy's devices and how the truth set us free. Yeah. Because it will do the same for you. Yeah, that's so good. Well, you know, today I just want to encourage you to cast all your care to the Lord. You know, I have a great memory of your mother singing that song. Yeah. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Can you sing that one? Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Yes, she sang leave that. Leave them there, leave them there. Oh, I love Take that. your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. We'll trust and never doubt. He will surely bring us out. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Oh, that's so good. Man, when you take them to the altar, don't get up and take them, try to fix them. Yeah. Leave yeah. the, the Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Mm -hmm. And then do season he may exalt you. Cast, here's how you humble yourself yeah. under the mighty hand of God. Casting all your cares on him, for he cares, cares for, for you. you. Amen. And he will take care of it if you will let it. Psalm 55, 22, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be moved. In the Amplified, it says he'll never allow the righteous to slip, slip. to fall, fall, or to fail. fail. Isn't that good news? Will you say this after me as a confession of your faith? I refuse to be anxious about anything. I refuse anything. to be anxious about anything. Casting all my care upon Casting you, Lord. Casting all my care upon you, Lord. I receive your perfect peace. I receive your perfect peace. Knowing you will sustain me. Knowing that you will sustain me. For you will never, you allow, will the never allow the righteous to fail. To fail. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, if you want to learn more about this teaching, especially more Mark 4. We have How to Enjoy Being a Christian from Milan. It's available CD, MP3, and it is free while supplies last or MP3. Download it anytime for free anytime. at our website at mylan.org. We also have our podcast available so that you can listen to this message, the truth, over and over and over again. And that's important, you know, in your car, 
when you're running errands, when you're doing chores, that's what I do is listen to a podcast. I'm always feeding my spirit the word to keep my spirit strong in the Lord and, and in the power and of His mind. And you have to listen to it over and, and over again feeding. because yeah, you if do. you don't, sometimes it'll look like it's not working. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it'll, and it'll start to affect your faith if you right. don't keep your faith built up. That's good, my And steep standing. Having done all else to stand, keep standing. Have and if you're not, hadn't done all else, don't stand yet. Yeah. Get to doing what else needs to be done. What did he tell you to do? Do that. Do that. Then stand, and you'll be standing on righteous, holy ground, and you'll be standing where the fruit is produced, and you'll be standing where your miracle is produced. Amen. So we encourage you today to stay in the Word, because that will keep you on, on the, the road, road to freedom. freedom. I'd like to share a testimony with you that we received for On the Road to Freedom, and this is from Valanda. And she said, I watched the broadcast this morning of you and your wife, mm -hmm. and it really blessed me. I'm a Christian, but I fell in a dark, backslidden place, mm. and I prayed along with Mylon and repented. And I asked God to build me back up in the spirit of Him. Thank and she you. asked, please pray for me to help me get to heaven, and like you said, enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm. Well, Valanda, we rejoice with yes. you. What an honor and what a privilege. And all of you who are watching who want to do just what Valanda did, we'd like to pray with you. We'd like to set ourselves in agreement with you. What Valanda was talking about is that we give our problems to God, but sometimes we withhold giving Him our whole life, mm. our hopes and our dreams. Right, and right. So if you're ready to surrender your will to God, mm, if you're cool. ready to read the Word and, and put Him and His kingdom and His righteousness first, mm -hmm. I'm going to set myself in agreement with you. Whatever's been going on in your life, yeah. if you rededicate it and recommit it to God today, mm. life is going to get better at your house yeah. from this day forward. That's Right. Father, I just I just ask you to touch Thank my you. brothers and sisters. I ask you to fill the place where they are right now with your presence mm -hmm. in such a way that they know that they've come in contact with the living God. Yes. Father, I ask you to confirm your word to them. You said that you perfect the things which concern us. Mm -hmm. So I thank you for proving mm -hmm. that to my brothers and sisters mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. as they surrender. Yes. as they lay down their lives and deny themselves and pick up their cross now to mm. follow you, Lord Jesus, yes. and to make you the Lord of all, mm. the Lord of everything in their lives. I give you glory and honor for it, sir, in the holy name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We believe that you're in a right place with God now, and it's going to get better every day. Mm.